Hi everyone, my name is Mohamed Kamara, or you can call me Mo. I am a site civil engineer for Diane Butler, and I'm about to take you on a journey to what a typical day in my life looks like. Let's find out. My alarm is set for 5.30 in the morning, as I have to be on site at 7.30 the latest. We all dislike the sound of the alarm in the morning, but it has to be done. After waking up to that annoying alarm in the morning, I do the usual stuff people do, freshen up, have a shower and feel alive once again. I then try to remind myself to perform my morning prayers. I do fall short sometimes, but I keep trying. Before leaving for work, I make myself some breakfast and prepare some lunch. After breakfast, I spend about 15 to 20 minutes doing some industry studies. I then go through my work-life balance board uh, to take off a hobby or two I'd like to do after work. All set for work, let's go. On my way to work, I enjoy listening to podcasts, mainly football podcasts and other various podcasts too. I arrive at work and park my car at our designated site compound just outside our place of work. We then get escorted into the airports through security checkpoints safely to site. Having gone through the security checkpoints, our journey to site continues. So here's a view to my workstation. Before doing any task for the day, I like to pen down a to-do list on my personal diary of set targets. And at the end of the day, I go through these items to see what I've achieved and what I haven't. Okay, so now we are on site, all geared up. So the first thing I try to do every morning before undertaking any task is to take a walk around the site and do some visual inspections on areas where I'll be undertaking most of my job for the day. This allows me to see if there are any obstructions in the way such as machines which could potentially delay my work and the site operatives on site as well. And if there are any, they're safely moved elsewhere, allowing me to do my job in theirs too. So I've set up my survey equipment. So in simple terms, what this equipment does is it allows me to mark out the exact positions and the height of everything within the design job. So all I have to do is go out there and mark out where everything is supposed to be. So let's find out what I'll be marking out today. So here's an example of one of the bollards that I marked out. And Another example of what it looks like once it has been called down to a depth of 300 mil at a diameter of 250 mil as per join. Now moving on to the other side where I've got a lot of markings on the floor. So this area consists of car spaces, um, access gates, um, walkways and bollards. Speaking of bollards, here's a typical example of what a bollard looks like once it has been installed still got some final finishing touches to do. These bollards are here for the protection of pedestrians against moving vehicles. Additional barriers are also going to be put in place for additional protection. Now moving on to the other side where I've marked out a walkway. So on this section for example we have the passengers enter the building from one end, exit the building on this side, make their way onto this walkway and then safely onto the aircraft on the other side. So I've marked out everything I need to mark on this area so I'm going to leave the rest to the expert to do their job. After marking out, I then leave that information to the site operatives who then use those marked out points as reference points to do their job. I then stand back, let them do what they do best and soak in the experience. Finally, this is the outcome of what we've done today collectively. Oh, meet Remondos, one of our very skilled operatives on site. Whenever we see each other, we always like to have a laugh. So closer to the end of the day, I go through my set targets and see what I've ticked off and what I haven't and start thinking of what to do the following day. 
Um, there are many ways to do this. I'm a little bit old school, so I prefer doing it this way. After work, we then get safely escorted outside the airport. As soon as I get back from work, I get stuck in straight into my hobbies for the day. After the gym, I freshen up, make dinner or eat some of my mum's food, watch TV or Netflix, read a page or two and get some sleep for 10 p.m. Having shared my journey with you, I hope it has given you an insight as to what a typical day in my life looks like and perhaps many other sites civil engineers out there. Thank you for watching.